Hey, what's up guys, it's Max Maxwell, and some of you may remember this house behind me. I've actually made several YouTube videos about it, and a TikTok that went crazy about the, the leaves that were in the yard. And if you notice, the big two trees are gone. But something special about this house I wanna share with you. This was a subject to house that I bought in February of 2019 for around $125,000. Now this house recently appraised close to $400,000 after we just did the renovations. I wanna take you inside so you can see some of the updated renovations, see all the work that we did and what the exit strategy is with this house. Come along with me. Now that we're inside, I wanna show you the major updates that we did. A lot has changed in this house. It's absolutely beautiful now. So come with me. This was the, uh, not too much has changed other than the updated flooring and new sliding glass door and everything. But let's go into this house. And one unique feature about this house is it has two master bedrooms. And so here's the hallway bathroom that's uh, completely updated. So you guys may remember this tile. I usually use this tile sometimes in reverse, black and then mainly white. And then the stripe continues up to the shower tile. Uh, we're able to save the tub, just put new fixtures, new everything in here. You got the vanity, new toilet, all your standard stuff inside of the bathroom. And you come see here, this is the second master bedroom because there's one bigger than this. This is the old master bedroom. This house had an addition way back. It's a complete brick house if you haven't noticed. This has a full bath, stand-up shower, toilet with a pedestal sink, and it has a door leading to the brand new deck that we put on. So this is master bedroom number one or the second master bedroom, whatever, because there's a much bigger one. But let me show you the other side of the house too and just kind of some of the updates. It's not 100% done, but it's pretty close. And right here used to be a wall. So this whole thing used to be enclosed all the way down here and then it had a small adult, uh, hallway opening down here and all the cabinets aligned facing this way. So completely knock down these walls, making it an open concept where you got the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room all open so you can see from all angles of the kitchen. Beautiful island put here in the kitchen with granite countertops, new appliances. And one thing I love to do is put the, the same flooring throughout you know, one level of the house so that it gives it a much bigger flow. Went back with the cabinets, backsplash is getting put in now finally done there. That's like the updated kitchen and I'm sure you're gonna see some old video of what the kitchen used to look like when we went in here. Now let's move on to the master, master bedroom. So there's two in here. You have a laundry room here, decent size. So inside of the master, we have updated bathroom, new tile on the floor, new tub in this one, uh, tile surround, just a beautiful, simple bathroom, all the light colors, everything that is just going trending in this one. And the cool feature here is you have a barn style door closing over this bathroom, which I think really just adds kind of like a modern, modern farmhouse style to this thing. So this room is pretty big. We removed the closet that was over here, made a super big closet that's on that side. You got the bay windows looking out the back door. And this is the master I was telling you about that has its own, another door that's leading out to the deck, which is completely brand new. Let's check that out. All right, so we're back outside on the brand new deck, brand new roof, black gutterings to offset with the black and the white theme in this house but the deck is absolutely brand new. One master bedroom that leads to it, you have the living room that leads to it, and the second master bedroom that leads to it. I got a feeling whoever gets this house is gonna be awesome because you can just lounge out here. It's like your own balcony for your, uh, for your bedroom. And you can pan and see something's completely different about this, this backyard. If you look at the old footage, there was a pool there. Now the pool was too far gone to be able to save it, so we took the pool out, and on top of that, we took out a lot of trees so that the new homeowners can then put a concrete gazebo or something there to make it really enjoy without all the trees falling on this brand new roof. And you still got a lot of privacy out here with the trees surrounding each side of you for the neighbors. And maybe in the future they may decide to put a pool in, but I doubt it because there's so many trees here that that pool will have so much maintenance. But you can see this thing is absolutely beautiful. This thing is treated wood but it probably will get stained a little bit darker color. Let's go downstairs in the basement because the basement is completely remodeled. All right, so when I first started flipping houses, you know I've been flipping houses with Francis. He's got 20 years in the game, flipped hundreds of houses. Francis absolutely hated painting brick. I know a lot of people have opinion on that, but painting brick to me, especially like this, gives it a, it's like, it looks like the newest house in this neighborhood. So painting this brick white actually makes it stand out. You put nice black fixtures on there to give it that pop. And you also do the same exact thing when it comes to the guttering. I completely love it. I think it's amazing to be, go out and paint brick. Paint it the solid color, solid white, amazing. 
One of my favorite features in this house is how big it is. So equally as big as it is upstairs, it's downstairs and we've completely finished it so that you have an extra bedroom, a bathroom and another living room type area. And we're working on finishing the garage so you can get an extra bedroom in there as well. This is amazing. Brand new drywall, brand new lighting, brand new, it just, it just smells brand new. And I love this, love the smell of a brand new house. Now, if you look at the tile, this tile right here was actually left over from my actual new build that I live in. And I still love it, even though it's put down in here. So the reason why we went with tile in the basement, in case there is any flooding, you don't wanna have carpet down here. The tile is gonna give you easy cleanup easy to fix carpet you have to remove everything and damage it but i just love it you got the agreeable grays the whites this is like a whole nother house in new york city this is this is a house down here and it's amazing a little bit short here because this is where the duct system is that travels throughout the entire house but then you pop back open here to the regular ceiling with the moldings and it's just absolutely beautiful i just love it if you look over here it's a fireplace downstairs that continues from the one that's upstairs. Even though that door's covering it now, you can burn real wood fire in here, but I think we've elected to go with the, uh, the gas insert so that you can burn wood down here safely. Don't have to worry about a fire hazard, anything goes on. There's also another bathroom, a complete another bathroom, which is amazing. Full bath, stand up shower with a sliding glass door. And a lot of people think this flooring right here is actually tile no this is a very very thick um what do you call it it's very very thick vinyl and so it looks and it feels like real tile but it's not it's easy to put in it's affordable this house is looking amazing to me i don't know about you guys and then we're going to throw on another door here plus add a closet on this side so that this can be another bedroom now here's a cool thing this house praised for almost four hundred thousand dollars and we didn't get this counted as a bedroom just because it wasn't a closet here the ceilings are majority seven feet we got a window here and look at this this room also exits as the outside and so this gets direct access this is like the underground under the deck i'm sure that whoever is mainly going to be in this area is going to have their own seating and everything here it looks absolutely amazing i'm so impressed with this flip I just love it. All right, now we're inside the garage. I know it's not finished yet, but we're planning on finishing this one completely, at least this side of it to make it give like an extra game room or some type of extra room in the house. This house is massive. It's almost 4,000 square feet. Actually, I think it's over 4,000 square feet. I need to check my records, but this house is huge. We're gonna finish the ceilings. The floor has been painted, put drywall up here on the wall so that it feels like you're inside the regular house. And this is going to be heated and cool, so it's going to be counted as additional square footage. This is basically a one car garage, which I'm sure they won't use it because there's a massive uh, driveway here, including that we're going to add the uh, small roundabout circle, get estimates on that soon. But this house is it's amazing. Brand new HVAC system that was pretty much already here when we took it over subject two. Water heater is also good, but this is just a very nice neighborhood, cool, cool school districts, and it's just amazing. Now, I forgot to mention this when we were outside. This retaining wall had to be completely redone because there was a tree that was sitting right here in the middle and the roots of that tree had its own mind and was essentially pulling out this entire brick. And so we replaced the center block with that, which was not as much as you would think. And I think it's absolutely beautiful right now. All right, so I purchased this house subject to, which means I purchased it subject to the existing financing. It had about $125,000 left on it, and that's exactly what I paid for it because it was in real bad condition. I've been paying the mortgage for the last three years. Reasonably, the mortgage on this was only 900 and some change every single month. We flipped this as a side project while the crews weren't busy, and now this is completed. You're probably thinking, what are you gonna do with it? Well, I can rent the house, but I think it's a, a real, real nice rental. The finishes are more on the higher grade. And with housing prices being right, right here right now, I think it's the best thing in our portfolio to go ahead and sell this house. We can get close to $400,000. We only owe a balance of 100, close to $100,000, a little bit 
a little bit more than 100,000, and this will allow us to put cash, wait, and we'll just decide what happens. And since I am a flipper, wholesale, landlord, and developer, and I source my own deals, I never have to worry about somebody else bringing me a deal. So when I find a deal, I can 1031 this one, or if I find multiple other, other properties that I wanna spend this money on, I can do that as well. So this house is gonna hit the market. I guarantee you we're gonna get exactly what we want on this property because it's absolutely phenomenal. This is the power of using creative financing, being your own wholesaler and sourcing your own deals. You don't have to depend on somebody else to get them in. This is why I love the root of real estate, which is wholesaling. Then you can do whatever you want to do, whether it's flip it, subject to, rent it, Airbnb, all types of things. And that's why I just completely love real estate. No two days are the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, if you haven't already, smash the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please do me a favor. Be a subscriber because I'm putting out a lot more content coming soon. You're going to see why I'm saying that. Check it out. I'll show you how to do this. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.